Hi everyone, I'm Jack and today I'm gonna show you how to export correctly a file from Rhino to Blender. So, here we have an interior scene made in Rhino that we want to render in cycles. The first step is make sure that all of your layers have their own materials name correctly. That's not just a matter of order. If you leave a layer materials unnamed, Blender will automatically assign a material for each loose geometry you've created. And I mean each one of them. Now that you have named all the materials, you can go to File, Export Selection, select your model, give it a name, select OBJ Extension, Save and OK. Now Rhino asks fewer polygons or more polygons. Fewer polygons means less details, more polygons means a heavier file. Look, the shape of your model can be the decisive factor. Let's make an example. Here we have a simple cube and a bevel cube. You can see the simple cube is not affected at all by the number of polys. The final look is exactly the same. And here you can see the bevel cube with fewer and more polys. What can I say about it? It's a world of difference. Now, back to our scene, I select more polys for this and press the OK button. Let's open Blender. Go to File, Import, OBJ, select your file, make sure that the orientation is correct and finally import OBJ. Select all the objects of your model, go to Set Origin and choose Origin to Geometry. And now the real work begins. I say this because, you see, all the geometry you have imported require to be cleaned and fixed. There are overlapping vertices, flip normals. That means you have to select every object, go to Edit Mode, remove doubles and recalculate normals. A faster way to do this may be to select different objects, join them, remove doubles, recalculate normals and separate them by loose geometry. If you do this, you'll be able to unwrap textures as well as save a lot of memory. Another tool you'll find useful is the decimate modifier. For instance, you can decrease the number of the vertices of this table by enabling it and selecting Planner. 165 vertices instead of 473, which means a lot of vertices. Here we are guys. If you have questions, you can leave them in the comment section. I'll answer. Also, don't forget to have fun and be creative. All the best.